Hey there, this is Miranda. Just wanted to um, come today and um, show you the benefits of soil cubes. We've been doing some research online. Um, I've tried many things. I've done homemade paper pots, I've done peat pots, and I really didn't like the results of any of those things. Um, so what I've done is I've researched and I found soil cube makers. But they're expensive and out of my budget and I don't want to spend the money on them. So what I've done is I also researched and found people who made homemade soil cube makers. Um, and I got to thinking this morning and I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. So what I've done, I've got medicine bottle, one of my prescriptions, and just a, uh, a little medicine, over-the-counter medicine bottle. Um, this was for my daughter's stomach problems. But um, I took this bottle, I cut off the top, and I took the lid, traced it out so that it fits, and cut it out. Then I've got a, uh, I guess a two-way threader, complete threader, whatever. Inside here I've got a, um, one of these nuts on the inside holding this, this in place. also have this and this. And what I do is I just push through and I have a soil cube. This will make the dimple in the soil so that I'm going to stick my seed in. If you want to see the ones I've already made, come over here, Serena. Here we have five soil cubes. Well, these are not cubes. These are, I guess we'll call them a sphere, a soil sphere. These are different lettuces. I'm hoping to do it right this time. Um, I'm not good at thinning out, so this way we will keep, keep the camera steady. My seven-year-old's on the camera. No, keep it steady like this. There you go. So this is different lettuces. Um, so we'll have a new spring crop. My hands are dirty from doing soil cubes. And these are bunching onions. Um, so that once I harvest my others, I'll have these. And as you can see, you know, they're pretty steady. Um, and I will water them from the bottom. So let's show you how I make them. Um, in this pot, or in this uh, five gallon bucket, I got too much water. Remember, um, you don't need a lot of water. This is the wrong consistency. So I have to do a lot of pushing. But what I do, let me push that on through there. It's what's supposed to happen. And I just fit this in the bottom. See? Okay. Back up some. And I just take my shovel and I just shovel in some. And what I've got here is just a mixture of potting soil and brown cow, um, composted cow manure. And um, I'll do it on this side here. And then I just, since I've got too much water, I'm just pushing this plunger that I've made, and if you can see the water draining down the sides. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got oh. too much water in the bucket, but we're making do with this because I don't want to throw it all out. And you just push the water out. And this is going to give it the form. See, I've got way too much water in mine. First time we've done this, so room for error. But um, anyways, so I've pretty much got my water out. Come back over here. And I'm using a clothes basket because it's easier for me to take it in and out of the sun. Um, you don't want to leave these out if it's raining because um, they'll dissolve down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this a good firm push. And then I'm going to use this hand and pick up and push down. And here you can see I've got the dimple for the seed. And um, i got a little bag of bunching onion seeds. Um, you don't want to get your hands dirty, use gloves, I don't mind, my hands will come clean. Um, got one little seed, I'm just going to put one in, drop it in the dimple, and then cover it up a little, and I'm done. And the soil is already wet, the soil is already moist, um, because you've got the water in the mixture, and um, so I don't have to water these today. I'll take this basket, I'll sit it out in the sun in my garden. Um, and I'll bring it in if it plans, if it looks like it's going to rain. And if they need water, I'll just come in and put some down around the bottoms of the uh, soil spheres. And it'll water. It'll um, pull up. And this way, this will give me a nice transplantable um, cube. I just stick this straight in the ground. Um, there's no transplant shock because as the roots form in this, the soil, they'll, they'll form. They'll make a uh, nice, good soil ball, root ball. And um, I'll just dig my hole in the garden and stick these in, or a potted plant, you know, plant, whatever. So um, that's it today, and um, soil, homemade soil cubes, soil sphere maker, and, um, and I hope you have a good day, and try to make your own.
leave a comment, leave a picture, leave a video link um, so we can see how you made yours. Um, this is very, very primitive, but it works. Um, I'll probably um, try another method soon. Um, just let me think a little bit more on that. Um, but for now, this does exactly what I need it to do, and I have no cost whatsoever in this, um, which I definitely like. So have a good day, um, good gardening, and I will catch you next time. Bye. Hey there, this is Miranda. I've got my daughter on the video camera, um, so if it gets a little shaky, that's okay. Um, we Today we're doing um, soil cubes um, to plant our... <laughs> Sorry. I can't help it. Stop laughing. I'm staring at the face. I can't help the staring at faces. Don't stare at the face. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Alright, press record again. Okay. Don't hey there, this is Miranda. Um, today, <laughs> I'm going to replace you with a tripod. Okay, start, start over. Hey there, this is Miranda. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like,